Hey guys, Hugh McGowan here, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the top 10 money making methods in 2021 on GTA 5. Now, I picked a range of different ones just so you can pick which one is right for you so you can make as much money as possible. Now, I haven't put this list on like 10 to 1, like the 10 is the worst, but the number one spot is the best one, in my opinion. All the other ones are just unranked, so you know, ignore my like laziness with the list and thing. If you like GTA content or gaming content, and in general make sure to subscribe to the channel and yeah without further ado let's just get straight into the video so straight away in number 10 is the two times and three times money jobs don't know what they are sometimes some jobs are on two times money or three times money it takes a while to do those jobs sometimes especially if you've got a lot of people because that's how you get a lot more money and you don't make as much as the other stuff on this list but it is still a method that you can choose and the reason why i've included this one is because it is fun to do with friends while it's made making a decent amount of money. Now it also depends what jobs are on two times and three times at that moment, because if you don't like it, then you're not really gonna play it. So it also depends on that. So yeah, not the best method on this list, but it's still an option if you don't really wanna pay for much and you're not really as high level as the other players so you can get all the stuff. Number nine is businesses. You can do some really cool tricks to make your profits go way up in the air. And they are fun to handle and manage, but the thing is it takes so much effort to keep it running keep the stock supply up. Selling it as well takes a while. It takes like half an hour. If you don't do any tricks, there's a chance it could get destroyed anyway. But you do make a really, really good profit from it. Especially if you've got one of those good ones like a coke farm or a weed farm, you can make a decent amount. Now I used to do this loads, but then I found out there's better ways to get money. And that's the whole like thing because it's not the best way to get money. Like it's a good way, but there are better ways. And not everyone can even be asked to do that. So definitely a method I don't out that but there's better ways to make money number eight on this list is the time trail now you can make 50 to like 100k depending on which one it is but most of them you need a specific vehicle to actually complete it properly and you're gonna have to pay for that anyway so you are losing the profit and it does change here and there so you're gonna have to lose a lot of profit spending on those cars or well, not even cars just vehicles in general i know a lot of people that do this for money like they just do that all the time or you can do this on the little like a little side thing but once so again, you're going to have to buy vehicles, spend a lot of money on that before you actually start making a profit from the time trial. Most of the time, it's not that hard to do, so you can do it easily, make a 50k profit right there and then. And if you're wondering what it actually is, you'll see it pop up on the map like a little purple timer, and then you'll have to do it. I think it's just a race. It's either a race or just to get a, to a certain point in a certain time. I remember doing one of these, and it was such a piss take. I was on my bike, and I just went flying everywhere. It didn't work. So most of the time, like I said, you're going to need a specific vehicle. Number seven is the Pacific Standard Highs. You can make a lot of money from this, depending on what set you got. But if you've got a bad crew, I'm telling you now, it's impossible to do because people will just die. They don't know what they're doing. If you remember my rage moments, I'll put it in the top right corner right now. It was a good video. I got so pissed off at people just not knowing what they do. You get legit. You almost hit the boat. Someone flops. I don't get how they do it. They mess up the parachute, hit a tree or something. They're a dumbass and then you have to restart the whole thing and you've lost about 800k anyway so you probably only take about 100k the setups are easy to do there they're kind of fun to do as well the heist itself is just so annoying and you're gonna need friends to do this otherwise if you get that crew like i said and i think everyone knows how much specific standard just is hated in the gta community and later on this list we've got an even better heist that you can do so stay tuned to hear that number six is missions now i, I find this completely useless you like make like 10k i think from it there's certain ways you can do certain missions that make it faster i know someone did this like two times mission it was a two times money mission they ended up making like 100k in an hour and they and they didn't even have to pay for anything like missions you don't have to pay for anything but the thing is 100k in an hour it might be looked at as good but it really isn't as good as the other money methods even on two times and three times i think this as well some of them are fun to do like if you're bored i can see people trying to complete all the missions but money wise if you're doing it for money i'd say it's not worth it. number five is selling cars now what i mean by this if you buy a car then sell it sometime in the future technically you're just scamming yourself and you're not making a profit at all from doing that but i can see in certain times like let's say you're like 400k off the sub for example and you have a karuma like an armor karuma you sell it and then i think that's a good investment because then you can just buy the karuma back once you've made money off that so there are certain times where it's it's an all right thing to do but you gotta wait a while 
before it becomes like a decent thing to do otherwise if you're just buying it then selling it obviously you're not going to make a profit number four is ceo you can make a lot of money from this i'm not i'm not sure the exact amount i think it's like 10k in two minutes i think it was or is that is that like a mad thing i've just messed up there i'm not too sure about how the ceo works all i know is a lot of people like it and it can make a lot of money but one thing i do know is you need a hotel or an apartment to actually do this and it could take a while saving up for that apartment and it might take a while to even make Make some profit but from the sounds of it i think it's worth it so if you want to do this one then go ahead but it might be a little bit boring because i think you have to sit in a chair or something to actually start making money i mean i guess you can just go afk or go somewhere i'm not even too sure on the ceo thing i just included it on this list because a lot of people talk about it and i thought why not may as well include it let me know in the comments down below what you think of ceo if it's worth it or not not too sure on that one like i said number three is events you can earn like a, a proper amount from this but the thing is you need a a proper event to do this like a good one they can take a while coming up and yeah so it's basically like a look based system trying to get them they are fun as well but the thing is even if you do it really really good the max amount you could probably earn from doing it like a mad one is like 50k if they come up definitely take advantage of it do it go ham on it but the thing is if you're just purposely looking for those things you could be doing something else that could be making you even more money than that probably in a faster way so this one like i said if you see them go ahead and do it but don't recommend just looking for them over and over again the second one is a modder now you gotta actually find one first which can be sometimes tricky i mean gta servers these days you could probably find one no problem but the true challenge is actually finding a nice one that will get you money most of the time they spam the servers kill you all the time so you gotta get lucky for them to be nice and actually give you money now some people might think you get banned for this like just getting money bags on the floor and you pick them up the thing is you won't unless they proper money drop you but i think they've taken most of those out now like most mod menus don't have that anymore they get banned so quickly but i mean it's always there it's always an option there if you want to get it and sometimes and if you do see a mother always make sure to friend them as well it'd be useful having a mother as a friend now the number one on this list is the ko perico heist without a doubt i think you all knew this was coming i did a full tutorial top right corner right now if you want to go do that best ways to do the preps their setups scope how all of that and the actual heist now the the world record i'm pretty sure is like 47 minutes and they did this in like they did it a day like just a day just going over and over again keo perico keo perico now i'm pretty sure they made around 30 million from just doing it that day but the one thing that holds people back from doing keo perico is the sub definitely worth saving up for it though because if you're just buying like a zentorno or anything like that it's not going to get you profit if you save up for the sub, get the Keo Perico heist, then you can get whatever you want after that. That sub is definitely the number one thing you should be saving up for if you haven't got it already. Easily, I think anyone can agree with me, the Keo Perico heist is the best way to make money on GTA in 2021 at the moment. Even with the like new things coming out that you can actually rob, they'll probably add loads more updates to it as well, making it even better. And possibly, I don't see them doing this, but maybe a faster way to actually get in the compound. Like right now, it's just the drainage tunnel that's obviously the fastest and best way to do it there could be another way that changes the whole game more and it is really fun to do like if you're doing it with friends really fun the thing the problem i had was i had so much fun in it. i did it so much that i got kind of bored of it but when i'm doing it for like gameplay and that i have so much fun doing it as well so definitely worth doing this and yeah let me know what you think down in the comments below let me know if you think any of these other things on this list should be number one but i think everyone will agree the k breaker is the best now time for our little news bit i've been getting a bit more consistent recently streams have been going good i've been streaming a bit of minecraft here and there some good games popping up soon obviously the boogie man series i think i'm gonna carry on with that very soon and finish it off now i saw you lot wanted a another main game but i'm not too sure what other game i can properly record i was thinking minecraft but i don't want to get in that community don't want a load of kids on here because trust it it's not the best thing to have loads of kids on your channel when you're not a kid friendly channel at all i don't even know how my video don't even get demonetized but i'm not complaining you know let's just keep it on the low no one no one tell youtube and we'll, we'll carry on but yeah i hope you enjoyed if you didn't like share subscribe see you in the next one and peace if you want to take a shot better make sure i end up in the box man i do this shit for halloween 
Fuck Bloody Mary, man. You only gotta say my name once and I'll kill you.